Hello and welcome to Hoddle Harmony, where the beat of the blockchain meets the rhythm of riches. Are you ready to ride the crypto wave with me? I'm Tom Durante, the maestro, a crypto enthusiast who jumped into this wild world back in 2020 with a GPU mining rig. I'm bullish on Bitcoin and Cardano, but I also like chasing profit with other coins. With my music background, I bring a unique vibe to breaking down the crypto economy. Think of it as a soundtrack to your hodling journey. Here on Hodl Harmony, expect weekly or perhaps more frequent market updates, simple technical analysis to read those charts, wallet guides to keep your coins safe, stories from my mining journey that is ongoing, and practical crypto tips. Whether you're new or a seasoned hodler, I'm here to learn and grow with you. I may be a few years ahead of you on your journey, but I am no expert, just passionate. So as always, do your own research. Hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, share this video with your friends, follow me on X and Instagram for more. Let's find the harmony in hodling together. And then here, and I just say, man, I graduated high school in 2007. I graduated college in 2012. And I was an adult working. I went to trade school after that for a couple of years. We'll talk more about my story. Uh, but in 2015, I was a working adult. I was in my 20s, and I could have been an innovator. Given my past with the computer technology that I knew how to do, there is no reason that I was not mining Bitcoin in 2015. Why was I not mining Bitcoin? I don't know. It took me five years until that point. At that point, I'll tell you why. Uh, at that point, there were so much negative press about Bitcoin that I was just like, eh, okay, whatever. I don't have money to invest and I'm not interested because at that time, the only news that you heard was Bitcoin is for criminals. Bitcoin is a scam. Okay, whatever. I didn't have any time or patience to look into it. I was just out of trade school, fresh out of university, starting my business, trying to make money. And <laughs> if only I had known that I could have just put literally a computer that I had already had, I didn't even have to spend any money. I could have just went right into Bitcoin and I would have never had to work again. If I held it, if I hodled, I would have been hodling very harmoniously. But that's not the way that it worked out. So in 2020, okay, this graph is maybe a little bit old. Uh, I don't know when this graph is from, but it doesn't look like it goes to 2025 right here. So we are still in a very early and upwards trend. We are still well below 40% of people adopting Bitcoin. In 2020 is when I started my journey. After being stuck at home, getting all of this money given to me from the government, and also from being let go from a job, I got a big severance. I had a whole lot of money and a whole lot of nothing to do. In 2018, 2019, I got into stocks and investing. So I was already primed and ready for that. And then I got into crypto. And then that's where it started to take off. So this is our journey, folks. This is where we're headed. Like I said in my little intro, I started with a GPU mining rig. Like I said, I built computers. I had computer parts and you know that's what I did. I had a computer and I was like, oh cool, I can mine this thing called Ethereum. What is this? And I remember looking on the forums and trying to read and about it and things like that and like what is this and how does it work? Pure curiosity led me down this road and that's where I went. GPU mining rig. I made a little bit of money. I think maybe over the course of a year I made maybe 150 bucks on a computer that I didn't really spend much money on. And then at that point I was like, oh cool, let me upgrade my computer. I'll show you some of these pictures here upgraded computer and then I had two mining rigs and I bought some GPUs and things like that I didn't have a whole lot of money to work with at this point um, so I was just using what I had investing in silver throughout everything still enjoy investing in silver I like holding that metal as opposed to gold silver has more of a volatility something a financial advisor told me it said look at the chart for gold look at the chart for silver and then you can figure out which one you want to go with so I chose silver I, I hold some silver, I hold very few stocks, um, I sold most of those, and I hold most of my wealth, which it's still very little, in Bitcoin, 
and other cryptocurrencies, namely ADA. At this stage in the market, I've got a very diverse bag that I've spent the last four years building. I got in at 2020, right as the market was starting to take off. Obviously it tanked at the beginning, and then I got in during the summer, during like May and June. After that, it was all up from there. And so in 2021, everything was going up. And so we had that weird double peak market and I wrote it all the way up. I wrote it down. I took some profits a little bit at the top, wrote it down, wrote it back up. And then as it started to fall, everything that I was listening to, all the research I was doing said, it's going to hit a hundred thousand. It's going to hit a hundred thousand. It will hit 100,000. And it never did. We were stuck on that, I think, as a community. It was just so drilled into you that it will hit this number, and it just never did. Instead of looking at what actually is happening and watching what's happening before your eyes, watching it drop, and we'll go back and look at those charts, you can see why I thought that it wasn't over. It's like, there's no way it's over. You get into this disbelief, and you're like, there's no way it's going back down. And it was, and it just kept dropping, and it just kept dropping. I definitely wrote it all the way down. In 2022, I started buying $5 a day of Bitcoin, $6 a day to account for the fee. So after a fee of $1 through Coinbase, I was buying $5 a day, every day. And I pretty much didn't miss a day for like two years. So 2022 to 2024, every day, I bought $5 of Bitcoin, Anytime I had extra money, I was throwing it into there. During 2024, as the market started to pick up, I was looking great. And we'll go back through all of that. But at the end of 2024, I kind of got out of GPU mining as it was dying and as uh, Ethereum foolhardily switched from proof of work to proof of stake, which has proven to be its downfall up to this point. I used to be a huge proponent of Ethereum. I still like Ethereum Classic because it's still proof of work. I believe Ethereum Classic is the true Ethereum. They are true to code and that's the way it should be. You know, Ethereum now has been corrupted and things like that and it's being proven in its value. Not to say that it's not good technology. I enjoyed 2021 very much. You know, the summer of DeFi was great. Uh, all the airdrops. I had two Ethereum at one point and I held on to one for a long time and then I took some profits on it as things were going up. I sold one almost immediately when I got it because it was an airdrop. I was like, I'm taking this money. GPU mining died. I never really got into ASIC mining. I thought it was kind of something I couldn't achieve until recently. At the end, it's not even on here anymore. Let's go to a different website. Let's check out ASIC miner value. I hope ASIC miner value.com. All of my miners are canon canon however you want to say it. i don't know how to say it. all of my miners are i'm just gonna say canon my first canon miner was the nano 3. so i got this on indiegogo i live in florida so my energy cost is seven cents i would love to get that down but i just live in a house so i don't really have any way to get that down my cost is seven cents per kilowatt hour i got mine i think it was like 250 dollars or something like that it has since died well We'll show a little bit of that. Um, not sure exactly what happened. I would love to get it repaired through Canon. So we'll see if we can make that happen. And it routinely would mine over for terahash because I had a lot of fans blowing on it, keeping it really cool. If you're pool mining with a device like this, you're not making a whole lot of money. You know, your profit is negative six cents a day. But the way that I look at it, I'm only paying the electric company one day one time a month okay but i'm getting 18 cents every day so even that adds up let's just say bitcoin doubles in price well that 18 cents now 36 doubling how much you're making when if the price doubles so this was my first miner oh look at that solo mining luck that's cool that's another website i wanted to show you if you're pool mining it that means you're making little bits of Bitcoin every day and getting paid every day, 
then you're making five bucks a month, which is nothing. The strength with these is the fact that they're running all day long, 24 hours a day, and they cost you very little to run. Regardless of if you're making any money, it costs you a quarter a day to run this device. Over the course of a year, you'll spend $85. I know for a fact that I spend way more than $85 on junk, stupid crap. Whether it's junk food, whether it's just some stupid thing that I saw on Amazon that I'm, I have to have and now it just sits there. I spend $85 on garbage. So to spend $85 a year to run a device that has the potential, albeit very small, 1 in 1.5 million chance in a day... 1 in 4.2 thousand chance in a year. I'm not really a gambler. I have a friend that plays poker and he took me to a couple casinos and it's just way too fast for me. I lost 200 bucks like that, right? That's not my style. Whatever those odds are at the poker table, there's no way they're that good. 4.2 thousand chance in a year that you're gonna get 3.125 Bitcoin, which is well over a quarter million dollars right now and has the potential to be more. So that was my first miner, okay? Recently, it'll be here on Monday by the time I post this, I purchased the new, since my old one died, that's not what it looks like, it has a round screen, that's just the three. You're profiting three cents a day with the new miner. This is mining at approximately six terahash a second, still consuming the same amount of power. And look at your chances have, they've dropped off significantly. So you have a one in a million chance every day, and you have a 2.8 thousand chance in a year to mine a block. I really respect uh, Drew Vosk. Shout out to Voskcoin. This is his website, I'm pretty sure. Yep, by Voskcoin. Shout out to Drew Vosk. He has been an incredible inspiration. Ever since 2020, I have found his videos about GPU mining, and that's really what one of the things that showed me what to do and how to do it, and how to be successful at it. So let's just say you got a six terahash, okay? And that's what you're looking at. Chance per year, 2.8 thousand, right? And your winning value right now at today's current price is $271,000, which is incredible. So we'll talk more about this. We're going to leave all these up and we'll come back and visit them. That's my first miner that I ever had, my first ASIC. I just jumped right in, both feet full on in, jumped right into the pool. No pun intended, but it is. And then I saw something that was on sale on the Canon website, which is not there anymore. You can see the cheapest one they have here is a 1326 doing 109 terahash for seven, $650. By the time you get it shipped to you, it's gonna be well over $700. A previous generation, which means that it's not the latest technology, but it's pulling 3,500 watts and you're mining 109 terahash. If, again, if you're a beginner and you have no idea what I'm talking about, a terahash, one terahash is insignificant as far as mining power goes. When you have 100 terahash, you're looking pretty good. 100 terahash at seven cents a kilowatt hour, you're pulling in $4 a day. So this is my miners that I currently have. On sale, this is, this is the cheapest one that they have right now. Mine that I have is actually a 1246, and it mines 85 terahash a second. And I have two of them. I paid $340 for each of them. One in December and one in March. Those are my current setup. I have two of these running. I switch one back and forth from pool mining to solo mining. Another aspect of Bitcoin mining is running a node. And so another part of research that I did, uh, so to kind of clarify something, I spend an average of three hours a day watching Bitcoin related content, Bitcoin and crypto related content. Okay, so this is how I've learned all of this stuff. You're not gonna just watch one video and become an expert. I consider myself not an expert and I watch three hours a day, every day. Compared to some people, yeah, maybe I'm an expert. I've read books, I've watched all this content, I live and breathe this stuff, and it's not my main thing. My main thing is music, my main thing is teaching. My main thing for the future is Bitcoin, and I'm throwing myself at it 125%. This is Umbral, and of course you can pay and buy a little mini pre-made thing, 
but you can also just buy a Raspberry Pi, which is like maybe 80 bucks top. I had a Raspberry Pi 4 that I wasn't using. And so I installed this Umbral OS on it. It took, if I had my proper internet at the time that I should have been, it shouldn't have taken this long, but I didn't realize I was paying for more internet than I was actually getting. When they came to switch me out to one gig service, uh, the guy was like, you've had like 100 megabytes and it's been limited because of this little device. And so that sucks. Basically, I just got screwed for like three years and I had no idea and they would never tell me, of course. So I upgraded to one gig service and Mm, it hasn't been 100% fine if you've been watching my other live streams, but for the most part, it's much better. I have a node. It took like three or four days to download and update to the current block on the blockchain. Basically, what I have is a node on my umbral. This is my node. If you click on this, you can watch synchronization of the Bitcoin block. And what I prefer to look at, there we go. So this is my node syncing to the blockchain every 10 minutes that's the way i like to look at it so this is the latest block and these little block trickling in are each transaction okay we have so much to talk about this is just an intro video what you can do you can go back and look at the previous block if you wanted to you could search transactions so this is a block that was mined 10 minutes ago this is the one that's being worked on right now or no this is the one that was mined about 10 minutes ago so the other one was 20 minutes ago. and then these are the transactions coming in that will be part of the next block when it gets mined this one will go away and these will come up on monday when i get my new nano 3s i'm going to connect it to my node i'll be mining to my own bitcoin node using umbral and it couldn't be easier it's the easiest thing to do you install the software on your raspberry pi you flash it to a, a memory card away you go you are mining as soon as you sync it to the blockchain you are good to go and you're mining so when i get my nano 3s it'll be mining to that all day every day and if i ever get my nano 3 repaired that'll be mining all day every day so that'll take me to 10 terahash mining chance Let's go over here to solo luck. If I go up to 10 terahash, my chance in a year drops to under 2,000. 1. 1.7 thousand chance in a year. That, on top of the fact that I have two of these mining, it says 90 terahash, so we'll call that 90 terahash. So if that gives me 100 terahash, now my chance, one in 173 in a year. 139 blocks in 24 hours and this is a countdown to the next halving so that's pretty cool this is going on pretty long this is just an intro video I still want to talk about some of my pictures and things like that I got pictures of my nano I've got pictures of people who I've met throughout the years Bitcoin people I got pictures of my hardware wallets and things like that as we get into this you know we're, we're gonna get into all kinds of stuff but right now and thank you for joining me for my intro. I may have gone on a little long. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you learned something. Come back for more. Study up. Do your own research. Thank you for watching my intro video. This is Huddle Harmony. I'm Tom Durante, your guide through the crypto journey. Please come back for more. Make sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, share this video with your friends. And make sure you have a lovely evening. Let's find the harmony in huddling together. <laughs>